And then last but not least, for my balls, for my balls and stuff, um, and doing like little doodles. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Kaylee. Um, I'm 23 years old and I just moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, so that's where we're filming from. Um, but today I am here to bring you a nighttime skincare, not skincare, definitely more of like a treat yourself kind of night. Do I do this all the time? No. Am I a bath? I'm about to give myself a bath. That's mainly why I wanted to do this. But um, I am just going to show you guys kind of like how I have like a self-care night. I know I did one of these a while ago, but um, I wanted to do like an, an updated one because I know when I was living in that apartment, I wasn't taking baths because I just literally couldn't in that bathtub. Still, this bathtub here is kind of small too, but here we are. Um, so if you guys are interested and wanted to keep on watching this video, please do. Okay, so y'all might actually, so this is how I used to take baths is I, um, I love bubble baths. They're just like amazing. I literally love them so much. Obsessed. So I would use, I literally just used last this not too long ago um and i don't have it anymore but it was the frozen bath berry or berry scent or something like that for kids um it smelled really good though and i mean it did the job but we've outgrown that um and then i put these <laughs> to make color <gasps> oh i hate myself too it's fine um but yeah i mean you can make some pretty colors in here <laughs> That's just, yeah, that's, I was poor at the time. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so that's all I could really do. Um, so here we are. But basically, um, I have now learned, well, I went into Lush today. I really wasn't expecting um, to buy anything. I'm just not really that big of a bath person, but I did take a bath last night and I just feel like I need to step up my bath game, especially after we were talking to the Lush lady. Um, and they don't make commission there. Like, Lush Associates don't make commission there. Obviously, they're trying to sell, like, meet their goals and stuff. But it's kind of cool to get to see, like, how much knowledge they have. And, like, a lot of times if you ask them straight up, like, oh, like, should I get this one? They'll, like, they'll tell you their honest opinion, which is, which is really cool. So, yeah. So, here is what all I got. So, if I'm just wanting a golden fun galaxy kind of bath obviously we're going to be using the intergalactic i think is what it's called bath bomb so it smells pretty good it smells very almost citrusy i guess um that is that um and then i also got um the this one i don't know it's dragon's egg um i just got it because i thought it would be cool i was really excited about the colors um so excited for that um and then i also i got like four bath bombs i think i don't really know oh and then so i got the avocado bath the reason why i got this is because it has lemongrass in it and it's supposed to help anxiety and stress. So I picked it up and I was like, I need this because <laughs> um, I'm a very anxious person. Um, but it's supposed to just help soothe the skin and stuff. So what's that? And then, um, oh no, I think he's broken. And last but not least for my balls, for my bath bombs, I got the big blue because he is blue and has seaweed in there so i thought that was pretty cool um and then um i also got bath bars okay i actually broke this one i'm really sad about it he broke but it's the mermaid one and um oh my god it smells so good though uh, it's like a bath oil kind of thing or like a bath bar um basically it makes the bubbles um but it's also a little bit better for your skin it's very soothing um with that one so i'll show you guys the last bar so then the last bar i got was really pretty it is this gold glitter one which if y'all know me i'm very gold glitter one but you can use these for four baths um so it's kind of a little bit worth it and then 
you have all the glitter in the world. Um, I just love glitter so much, it's not even funny. But basically what um, the Lush, Asso Lush Associate said was that with the body, like with the oils thing, it like actually foams up and does like the big soft bubbles. Um, and it helps like soothe your skin and, you know, make it buttery smooth. And then she likes to also use the bath bombs. Um, and that way you can um, get that more like colorful effect of what you're wanting. And depending on which one you get, it also soothes your skin, like makes it softer. It's supposed to have, depending on what essential oil is in it, it has different properties. Um, with like with the lemongrass for relieving depression and anxiety and like just making you or like with the lavender ones and making you, you want to sleep so that's why I kind of got these um the mermaid one that I showed you that's the one I'm going to use tonight it's kind of like a mixture of both she said she would just use that one by itself because it kind of has it's like a an everything kind of one but I thought it was cute to tail too so. but yeah so that is what I'm going to do tonight and then I'm also as I'm doing it I'm going to be putting this mask on it's the Elemis superfood vital veggie mask there's not really a reason or I'm a reason why I'm gonna put it on tonight I just wanted to put a mask on and this is a nice mask um and yeah um so right now I have self tanner on so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do first is just Rip, take like a body shower real quick well not even like a full one just like literally rinse all the um all my tanner off and all my self tan off that way it can stop developing and I'm not sitting in self tan because that's kind of weird and then after that what I'll do is just actually take the bath and then um after that I will um take another body shower and that's when and that's just me basically getting all the other stuff off like I don't know I feel like you shouldn't if you're gonna take a bath don't just take a bath like to actually clean yourself you need to make sure you're taking that shower and like a bath is supposed to be a soothing experience you're not supposed to be like cleaning yourself I guess um so that is my whole thing with it is I just want to um have like a nice soothing experience and then we will you know clean ourselves afterwards and then after that I'm going to do some journaling slash Bible study I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna do yet but we will have to stay tuned for that so I'm going to show you guys kind of like how I get ready to go ahead and actually take the bath <laughs> so while my bath is warming up I went ahead and lit a couple candles um, and that's just mainly to go ahead and get everything um, you know, lit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I made sure that I took off all of my makeup. Sorry. Um, basically what I also like to do is just make sure one, that all my makeup is taken off so I can actually put the mask in. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and start putting on that mask just to go ahead and, you know, get it set up. So I just like to use this, uh, Luxy um 510 brush basically i don't know it's a foundation brush but i just like to use these brushes as um mask brushes because why not um mask it's supposed to be hydrating and it has like um i don't know it's a veggie face mask i don't like i don't know it's not going to change your life or anything but i just figured it'd be a nice aesthetic um, while I'm actually taking the bath here. Okay, and the tail is actually just all like a luxury bath oil. So let's go ahead and drop it in. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to go that far. I guess you could like cut it in half, but here we go. I'll be back.
it is actually Sunday right now. Um, I started that yesterday, but then I realized that I just wasn't really in the mood to finish the rest of it, um, which is kind of like random. But I wanted to go ahead and just kind of show you guys how I journal. I figured, stop. I figured I would go ahead and go more into detail tonight because um, it was just getting kind of late last night and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to bed, watch some TikTok, and that's what I did. Um, but I did want to share with you guys a few things. So I know in the past I have done a video on journaling. If you guys want to um, look at it, uh, it'll be linked in the description below. But um, it was very unfiltered, so it's a kind of a long video. But this is going to be the shortened version of it. Um, basically, recently, I've just been getting into using colors and kind of, like, accentuating, like, originally I was just more into, like, using black and pens and stuff, um, and doing, like, little doodles, which obviously is fun. Throughout the year, I started using colors, um, and for these, I just used my Paper Mint, my Paper Mate Candy Pop Felt Tip Pen. Actually, I don't think I used... It for these I used a different I think I used highlighters or something I don't really know but um, so something that I did do though is I like to add the title in a different color and then right below um, so something that I did want to go ahead and like um, point out is I know a lot of people do these where you have like a word of the year um, I haven't decided what my word is gonna be for 2021 I think it just kind of depends like I start, I, like, I'm not in the swing of things yet. Um, I like to just kind of see how things are flowing and then from there base off that word. So for 2016, it was definitely growth. Um, I grew a lot that year. I traveled by myself for the first time um, and to a different country. I literally traveled to New Zealand for the first time by myself. Um, so it was crazy. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I think that really helped define my growth um as a person and then in 2017 it was self-love that's the year that i lost my grandmother um but before that i was just really focusing on myself and um how i need to love myself and working on loving myself a lot better than it, i had before um 2018 was being intentional um because of my grandmother um, i lost my grandma um like mid-November so this kind of rolled over stemmed over from that but basically after my grandma passed I got really into my faith um, and so my new word was intentional and being intentional with my words and sending people texts making sure people feel okay because I know I mean if you just get a random text from someone that you don't really talk to and they're like hey I hope you're doing well I know we don't necessarily talk but you're doing a great job. Hope you are awesome. I'm always here if you need to talk to you, someone. And I loved that. So that's what I did for 2018 was I really tried to set my intentions um, pure and tried to help people. Um, and then 2019 was change. Um, not in the sense of obviously I had growth and that's kind of similar. But change is different because... I went through a lot of changes that year. I went through a lot of um, finding with my anxiety and figuring out what was wrong with my anxiety and um, just finding the medicine that I needed, getting on actual antidepressants and making that call. Um, and then I also, three I had three different jobs in 2019, so that was a lot as well. Um, so a lot of change and then that was the year that I stopped having a roommate and then actually started living by myself which is was great um, so a lot of change yeah and then for 2020 um, definitely potential 20 was definitely potential um, I just feel like I really made my potential expand a lot more like I figured out what my potential was I kind of figured out like what I want to do with myself and I mean, I want to inspire people about mental health and I really want to just show what my full potential is. Do I think I'm necessarily there yet? No. Um, that's good. So we don't want to, we don't want to be peaking when we're 23. Um, so, but I definitely moving to Charlotte by myself, like 
to a big city from like a small town um, without anyone is crazy. Um, and it just kind of showed my potential. I met a lot of friends. I met a lot of friends so far, which is kind of random. But like I have friends here. Like I have a good group here. I feel obviously I want to meet more. But for right now, I feel like I have a good group of people. Um, and it's just stuff like that where I feel like I have reached my... or. I have expanded my potential. I haven't reached it yet, obviously. But I feel like it was a lot about that. Um, so that's what I would say 2020 was about. What 2021 is going to be about, I don't know. We haven't gotten there yet. Um, but yeah, and then I, I don't know why I did this, but I basically just said, any, I was, I think I was like, just, I was listening to um, Demi Lovato's song. Um, and then I just <laughs> kind of had some little fun there. Um, just trying out new writing styles. Um, and then I made some manifestations for this year. I don't really like to set daily goals. Um, that's just, they don't really work for me. I'm not, like, the only thing I really have successfully become a daily goal is drinking a gallon of water during the work week um not even on weekends and just during the work week um so that's pretty much the only thing i can really say for that um but i have like certain goals that i have by a specific time and i figured out that those actually work out better for me um i can show you guys something that did actually work which is kind of random because i i totally forgot about them and then I looked at them and it was just great. Like I was like, wow, I can't believe I actually accomplished it. So, um, so by 2021, I put, I, okay. So some of these are kind of like random, but I said by 2021, I want to save up for a car, which obviously I haven't really been able to do that mainly because life and COVID and all of that. Um, and I wanted to go to Texas again, obviously with COVID can't do that. Um, and then I wanted to plan my life, but, but, and I guess I kind of did that in 2020, but whatever. And then, so I put by 2021, I want to move somewhere else, which hello, I did. And then I also wanted to have a big girl job, which hello, I have one and I mean I did kind of have one in 2019 or 2019 and 2020 um but I I made this actually before I got the first job in 2019 so um yeah so that's kind of like what I've been um my goals um this hopefully I don't I don't actually I'm not gonna say any of my ones for this year just because I don't want to stick like I feel like if I say them out loud, they're not going to come true. So I just want to keep them for myself. Um, if I do accomplish them, I will totally tell you guys, um, tell you guys what I was planning on doing. But that was just one of them. Hopefully, I do finish. That's probably the most attainable. Um, so when I do finish that one, I will let you guys know. So right now, I'm on. Um, I'm doing my Bible study right now. Um, so I'm on Genesis chapter, I think 12 or something. Let me see. Yeah, well, I did chapter 12 actually. I'm on Genesis chapter 13. Um, and so Abram is not Abraham yet. So that's how, how I am in the Bible right now. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few chapters of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and work out, um, hopefully. That's what I need to do. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you guys want any other videos on how I journal, kind of more of an in-depth process of what I kind of do, what I kind of think about, I can read some journal entries that I have done. Um, some of these are just a little bit more personal, so I don't want to read all of them. Um, but I would like to read some of them. So I might do that a little bit later. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But if y'all want to talk to me, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All I need is a beauty. Here's my Lulu.